So today I'll be wiring up three whites. Um, so I got all of this from BCF yesterday. So two work lights and then one LED light bar. Uh, this is 30 centimeters long. These are about uh, half of that, just like so. Um, and then I'm gonna be connecting them up to my already pre-existing switches up there. So for this install of these two lights and one light bar, you will need a drill, power drill preferably, battery drill, doesn't really matter. They all work the same these days. And some automotive cable, just like this. I got this from Super Chip Auto this morning. 10 meters, uh, four millimeters big. I like to do it a little bit professionally. So I'm gonna use heat shrink to make all the wires look nice. You also need some connectors. These connectors go into the King's thing. So I got them from Super Chip Auto. They're five mil uh, tabs. They go into four mil wire. Some other things that you might need is either some butt connectors like this or solder butt connectors so you just heat them up and they connect on or these ones are crimp is a heat source if you are using the soldering ones or just for the heat shrink a bigger the bigger the hotter the flame the better it is so if you have a heat gun it's better than a lighter this is going to take ages you also need stuff like conduit to make it look nice the first thing you want to do is find the location um, of where you're putting it so that you can run all, run all the wires afterwards. So for this big light bulb, I've got to put it in the middle of the canopy, pointing downwards. I've already preset the mount so it fits just like that. And then I'm hoping to run the wire through the back of it. So I might need to drop it down a bit so I can run the wire through this part of the canopy. And that will just light up this area and then light up the back. It's a bit overkill for what I want to fit. And then on either side of my doors, I want one of these small ones to go. So I'm just going to either mount it to here or here. And then I'll have one either side and one on the back is the plan. Um, plans do change, but I'm going to try and keep it like that. After you figure out where they're going, I would recommend you do a test wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this, my control box, wire this directly into it and then put it on the fuse as well. Um, Kings already has the fuses pre-included, so you just gotta wire it in the right spot and then it'll include the fuse. So I'm just gonna test that it works before I run all the wires everywhere. So I've just undone all the screws that go for this. Make sure your battery is disconnected. Always important to wire yourself an isolator switch, so when you are working on lights like this, you wanna make sure you can disconnect it and you're not gonna let you cute yourself. Also, we got to mention, you also need some pliers. So, what I do is I'll find my positive and negative. There we go. So, see how that's working? When I get the right contacts, just like so. I can't hold it still but it is working. Like that. There we go. So that is very bright. Shine that into my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to unpack this. So this is just a, like I said before, a 4 mil wire. It's the same wire that comes with the BCF stuff, Kings, uh, the stuff they sell at Super Cheap Auto. This is all the stuff that it connects into. So once again, I'll start by stripping it. I'll use my pliers to strip it. You just want to put like 50% pressure on and then you want to pull it out. There we go. So, just done that. And now we strip the other ones. First, I would recommend seeing how much you need to uh, take off. So I need to take off a little bit more because I've got to go from the negative to the switch so I might take off another, uh, whatever that is, a little bit more. There we go. Winner, winner. There we go, just like so. Now at the end of your wires, you don't need to take off a lot. You just need to take off a little bit, just enough for one of these to fit on. Something like that. 
and something like that. So the negative and the switch. So you just need to take off a little bit of wire just to get that on. You don't. You want to put probably 25% into this because these ones will snap quite easily. Okay, so that's undone just like so. Goes onto here. It just slides in the hole. So we we'll just do that. Make sure you try and get all of it. Because the more you have, the better the connection is. Oh, almost forgot, you've got to put the heat shrink on. So just find a corresponding heat shrink that will fit. Cut it up. Just cut a little bit up. So you put that on the wire first, like so. And then you grab your thing that you're going to put in there, your spade. Just shove that in there, basically. and then you crimp it up using the pliers, or if you've got a crimp tool, use the crimp tool. So you just use all your force on that, and that will crimp it. And then it probably won't come off. And you always want to do a tug test. So if you can pull it and it comes off, it's not tight enough. Then put your heat shrink over that, just like so. Get your wire out. And make sure she's on. And then cook your heat shrink so it just molds to the wire. This connects into your switch, and then I'll do the other one that connects into the negative panel. Okay, so you've got a spade bit which goes into the switch and then this goes into the negative on every light that you'd have or every if you're doing something that's not a light like a water pump or something like that you can always do this and then you'll get it right with the king stuff so this wire that I made just now I'm gonna wire through the side of the box so if you haven't put a wire there already you need to cut with your knife this hole out so I'm gonna put that through on the other side Push that through, make sure the battery's off, make sure all your fuses are in, and then just push that through the side of the box. Get as much wire in there as you need to. On the switch, now it's a little bit fiddly because there's a lot of wires in there, but you'll get there eventually. There we go, done it. Okay, so the positive is in. Oh, now it's time for the negative. So you're gonna need a screwdriver for the negative. So you grab your little handy screwdriver. You unscrew one of the terminals up there. So I'm just gonna unscrew uh, this one, for example. Doesn't really matter. Far out. Okay, that was difficult, but I've done it. Now you just run your cable. You run your cable wherever you want it. I'm going to run it uh, to this metal beam, underneath the middle beam and then straight out the back. And then I'll be able to connect the other one onto that. Um, and then I'll show you those connections in a second. But essentially this is what you do with all the lights. So you want to wire, fit, get these connections good, get them in there and then run your wire to wherever you want it. And then you just plug your lights in and that's that. Those two holes out. So that's my pre-drill. I'll go like that. Get my pre-drill in the right spot. Okay, two holes done. Now I've got my bit. That's the right size, as, same size as the bolts. Put that in there. Drill this. Two 
hold to. Not a lot. Just like so. That's without it bolted in. That's what it looks like. Grab the washer and not and put that on the inside of these. This next bit requires me to jump in the canopy. Just like so. And then lean back, I guess. Not really an easy way of doing this. This is why auto electricians get paid so much, by the way. They're like doing this all day. So I'm gonna get those two to connect there. Just like that. So now we just connect the black to black and red to red. I've got these little handy little connectors here. Just like that. That will crimp on. They did it. So if I plug my battery in, turn my battery on, wait a few seconds. I've got my normal lights, which I had in before. Um, this one is the one outside the back. This one is the spotty over there. And this one is spotty just here. So, I've got that spotty on, the other spotty on, and this one is on. Isn't that cool? Now I've just got to uh, fix up the wiring so it's not all over the shop, which it's definitely all over the shop. And I've left quite a lot of mess. Um, yeah, so I'll clean that up and then it should be good. So, my normal lights very bright. My rear light. I need to change the angle on that, but pretty good. And then the fucking weapons. Look how fucking bright that is, but that's the other side. That's this side. Like what the fuck? That lights up the entire soccer field. The entire soccer field is lit now. What the fuck? Based.